It's time for Nina's What's Trending. There's a new fashion trend you may want to take on, Ooh, and that yes. is bathrobes. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. I love a bathrobe. <laughs> I mean, I do too, but I don't know about this. Bathrobe, bathrobes are the new trend. Vogue is co-signing the entire look, and even Angelina Jolie has stepped out on a red carpet wearing a coat that looks just like a bathrobe. Oh. Um, the writer of the New York Post is calling this the latest in post-pandemic unpretentious looks. Huh. <laughs> so after the lockdowns, people stopped carrying. I mean, Pandemic's four years ago. <laughs> Let's move on. Yikes. I'm wearing a sweatsuit. Thank you very much. That is pandemic. That is, that is pre-pandemic. <laughs> that is pre. That's that. You could take that sweatsuit, not this version. You look very great today, Nina. Uh, you could safe. take that version all the way back to the '70s, baby. Yeah. Okay. Well, honestly, bathrobes you kind of could too. Back in the '70s, they used oh, they to wear were those always, like I think long they wore them everywhere. coats. Yeah. So, but were they just long coats? Oh, but this looks like the Terry that was in the '70s. <laughs> Maybe at the Playboy Mansion, but back in the '70s, people were still putting suits on to get on an airplane. Plane. Oh, yeah, you're right, I guess. Oh. My, the, my version of the 70s is the Playboy Man. That makes sense. <laughs> Producer Brad. Different. I, mean, I think of a disco, because yeah. that's what my parents tell me about. I just think of a dude walking around in a bathrobe smoking cigarettes <laughs> like crazy. Why? Didn't you have to that, make that, that cool a while ago? Listen to the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain Harry is a very chest. vivid oh, place. Ew. Harry chest. <laughs> no. All right, well, do what you will with all of this information. Um, this one's going to get you. I never thought thought I'd say it, but it's hilarious. Snoop Dogg, Martha Stewart, and Bic have yeah. just designed a new iPhone case that comes out in two colors. Bic as in the lighter. Huh? So it's called the Hold the Phone Case. It's molded to cut out. Um, so on the back, you can have one of Bic's easy reach lighters in the back of it. Oh, oh. that's funny. <laughs> so it's um, it comes in two colors, blue and purple. And the funny part is that they're actually marketing these lighters to be convenient for candles. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> so they're right. Be, they're right. in limited yeah. quantities. They're supposed to be only for the iPhone 15. But if you're going to use it, it's very convenient when you need to light a candle. It reminds me, though, <laughs> of like, the road uh, phone cases that Haley Bieber made like to hold her lipstick, like to hold her road lipsticks in. Right. But That's- now Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg are making it to hold your lighter. <laughs> I mean, she probably started the trend I mean, she's not wrong. What else can you say? I love back how there? Martha Stewart and Snoop are just like best friends. What is that? Right? They do everything together. It's, it's so cute. But do we not love it? I love yeah. it. No, it's we great. Love it. A lot of people are, might get in on this because of their friendship, you know? Aww. Anyway, so if you get one of those, limited time. Um, and then OSU, the or- Oregon State University, has developed mild habanero peppers. They're they called, developed them? I don't know why you want it mild. They're supposed to be habanero for a reason, say. right? But they're now calling them the natahadas and mild things. <laughs> <laughs> but what makes them mild? Like, what are they putting in it to make it mild? Uh, they're described oh, as having a fruity and floral fragrance oh. and flavors that have lower heat levels. And so these seeds are going to be available at farmer's markets next year. So now gardeners can have their hot and nada habanero peppers. How bad do you want a habanero but not a habanero? <laughs> like... I don't know. What's why don't you just get a jalapeno then? Well, yeah. like another pepper that's not as what? hot. Yeah, if you yeah. can handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Isn't that what <laughs> we've know, been but, saying? Yeah. No, but peppers have taste beyond the heat that you oh, can't I guess you're taste right. because yeah, there's so a spicy. Taste so what if there's a it. taste to it? Well, there's yeah, bell peppers and all other yeah. kinds of poblano peppers and other Wait, peppers. Wait, let's not crap on this science class that just developed a new vegetable. No, I would like them to make a banana that doesn't taste like a banana as much, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. In fact, banana, it tastes like tomato. a ghost pepper. Yeah. Can you just imagine being at a restaurant? A spicy banana would be good. Yeah. Can I get that not a hot soup? You know, like, come on. <laughs> anyway, so Kim Kardashian wrote an essay on why she believes that the Men- Menendez brothers should be released from prison. No. And people are actually believing that this may work. But who'd she write it to? She just wrote an essay, an okay. open essay. Okay. Um, so the Los Angeles dis- district attorney just said that new evidence has been discovered that the brothers were actually assaulted by their father. Mm-hmm. And there is now a new hearing that has been set for November 29th that they're going to be talking about all of this So stuff. that's why she's saying they should be let out of prison for she, murdering? Well, she went to the prison to visit them, and so she's been spending time with them, and she mm-hmm. believes that they're good people. She believes that once they were 18 and 21, when they got put away, and if you remember, this is because the Netflix series is out that Ryan Murphy yeah. had created yeah. about these two brothers who killed their parents years and years ago. So she thinks that they're good people, but now all of the eyes on the two brothers has started to create a little bit of a stir. And if in the show, you'll see that their dad um, managed or worked with the band Menudo. 
Mm-hmm. And one of the members of Menudo is now coming out to say that their father had also assaulted him. Oh my gosh. Him okay. the exact same way. Uh-huh. As somebody who was assaulted by his father as a child and raised by a terrible person as far as I'm concerned, I still don't think that you should get out for murdering them. I think that's it's a bad precedent, you know. Mm-hmm. And believe me, the things that I've thought in my head I would love to do to that person, still, I didn't do them. Right? Right. You know, like you, you can't just go around killing, killing people. You can't take the law into your own hands. Unfortunately, right. that's the, well, not unfortunately, that's the world we live in. You, you can't do that. So I don't think they should be let out, even if he was a terrible monster of a person. Um, you know, and it's really sad because when you're a kid, like you can't, you know, it's hard to like go tell somebody or whatever, but you know, you can't just, I don't think you get a pass at murder. No, for that. No, yeah. I, I don't you know. believe you get a pass at murder either. The crazy thing is, though, is that this hearing could eventually lead to another retrial and resentencing. So not wow. like a full release. It would just be this whole thing all, all over, over again. again. The so. problem with the justice system, though, is because if they go through all of these things and everything gets blown out of proportion again and there's a new era of Menendez brothers on the news, how do you even get a fair trial? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's true. the bottom line here is there is no contesting. They killed their parents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is not in question. It is yep. it has never been in question. Mm-hmm. Right. So the, the I, th- this doesn't even make sense. To and, me. and that's the part that gets me. It's kind of weird to me with the Hollywood stuff is like I hear a lot of people saying, well, this happened, so they should be let out. But it's like they did the crime, though. You're right. still a crime. Like, you know, you can't do that. And what about the mom? I was like, going to ask about that, too. Yeah. Like, she also was killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like, know either. But the other, not to keep going they're on murderers, about this, sucker, as far as I'm concerned. Yep, well, they, they're 100 percent murderers. <laughs> sure, yeah. And not to keep going on, but what was the name of that girl that also recently got out of prison that was like doing all those book, not, not the tours, but oh, all those interviews? Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. She killed her mom. Didn't she, she killed her mom. Yeah. Oh wait, how'd she get out of prison? Well, she, her sentence. She finished her sentence. Oh. And that one, I that one is interesting to me because, uh, yeah, she fi- she did finish her sentence. Yeah. Because the thing is, like, you maybe change the sentencing. Okay, right? Maybe you, it was an act of like you, you know, whatever you want to call it. Where with her, her mom was also trying to kill her. Her mom had Munchausen. You know, so. and so yeah, her mom was making her sick and everything else, and like. Yeah, but she still had to do the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, think about that. Yeah. She had a self defense case that's a legitimate case and still had to do time. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They walked up on their sleeping parents and murdered them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I just think there's just it. a bigger conversation here because yeah. of Hollywood. Yeah. So, sorry. Didn't and hers was a self defense thing. Yeah. yeah. Too. So, right. Anyway, yeah. 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 So, okay. Well, that's what's trending. Brought to you by Muckle Shoot Bingo. And <laughs> I mean, there's more, but that's just, we'll leave yeah. it there. Yeah. You're home for Machingo. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when it gets awkward. <laughs> but it's interesting. And I just, it is. I could talk about this for a long time. We're <laughs> not going to.